The box wrench, tommy bar, and dipstick are supplied with the machine. Adjust the tractor hitch pin so that the hitch pin is approximately 16 inches from the end of the tractor PTO shaft. Adjust the machine hitch eye to suit the tractor drawbar height. Back up the tractor and position it in place. Secure the drawbar to the hitch. Ensure the tractor parking brake is applied. Connect the safety chain to a suitable place on the tractor body. Remove the parking jack and relocate it on its side under the PTO shaft on the stub provided. Remove the PTO shaft from the shipping position and confirm that driveline matches the PTO speed of the machine. Ensure the PTO stand is flipped down. Attach the drive line to the tractor and ensure a secure attachment. Ensure PTO check chains are anchored to prevent PTO guarding rotating. This machine requires two spools. Spool 1 is for the wings. Spool 2 is for the drawbar and axle. Connect the hoses to the appropriate connections. Close the tap and reopen it slowly to control the speed of the wing drop. Connect the electrics. Raise the machine by hydraulic control. Flip back the axle and drawbar ram locks. Lower the machine to the ground by hydraulic control. Relocate the wing transport locking bars and lock into place. Lower the wings by hydraulic control. While the wings are down, set the top link into mowing position. The top links limit the wing lift and prevent damage to the wing PTO shafts and gearboxes. Adjust the top links so the pin is located in the middle of the slot. Lock the position by tightening the pin. Rams must be in the float position when mowing. Loosen bolts B and C. Turn nut D clockwise to increase the cut height or anti-clockwise to lower the cutting height. Match the height of the roller on both sides of the machine by checking the position of A. When the adjustment is complete, retighten bolts B and C. Start up the tractor PTO. Build up the operating speed. Select a suitable forward gear and proceed to cut grass.
Before raising the machine, wait until the transmission and blades are completely still. While the machine is still hitched to the tractor, move the machine into transport position by hydraulic control. Slot the wing transport locking bars, axle locks, and transport pins into place. Grease the roller ends after every 40 hours worked and increase this if working in particularly dusty conditions. Check the roller at the end of every season. If necessary, remove the roller assembly and adjust the tightness of the bearings. The PTO should be greased at regular intervals according to the user manual. Now grease the other points according to the user manual. Check the oil in the gearboxes with the dipstick provided. The oil should be in the hash marks on the dipstick. If you need to add oil, we recommend 85W140 gear oil.
The correct air pressure for this type of tire is 2.1 bar. Blades, blade backs, blade bushing, blade bolts and nuts must be checked on a regular basis for wear. It is recommended to visually check the blade assemblies every 40 hours of operation. Sharpen blades using a small grinder. Slide the yoke shield back, remove the sheared bolt, align the holes and install a new shear bolt. Slide the yoke shield securely in place.